Welcome back to Minecraft guys and today today is a time a very special time we are going to build a very 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 large reed farm mm -hmm. down in here underneath the rest of my farms my other farms are up here you might recognize them the ones that do this they're probably actually are ready to be harvested but what I want to do today is to make a reed farm because, well, now that I have the beginning of an endermender, um, soon I'll be getting a lot of really good enchantments just like really fast. I have zero torches. Great. I need to go get torches before I do anything else. But, yeah, so I'm going to be getting a lot of good enchantments really fast. And so I figured I might as well start making a book, like, collection, just a whole bunch of books that I can enchant all the time. And so that means I need a large cow farm and a large reed farm. And I'm going to put them both um, in spawn, excuse me, so that uh, they will always be getting, you know, like, if I breed them, or if I do whatever, they'll always be going. So I don't have any more. That is okay. I'm gonna like that. Do I have any sticks up here? Do I have any sticks in here? Yes. Only 20, but that's okay. That is plenty. <laughs> well, I don't have a bucket of water either. I need a bucket of water. Um, I got a bucket. Let's go fill this bad boy up. go. Okay, so I'm going to um, I, I saw that uh, Pyro Puncher had just done the exact same thing I'm going to do. Um, and making it, oh, making a reed farm. I think I want to turn this into a pumpkin farm. I don't know. And making a reed farm. And he made it rather large. And now I am going to do the exact same thing, except I am going to hook it up into this guy right here. So, I need to uh, get this coordinate. F3, get out my fancy fancy pen. X, uh, come on right dude, X162, Y71, Z220. After 220, I can't even read. That's a 210, obviously. Oh, chicken. I do not know what I just broke. But, looks like that's the fix. Where does this line go, anyway? Ah, uh, whoa, there's stuff in here. Weird. You just uh, cut that line for a bit. No, I can get rid of that for a second. I just want to watch this do its thing. Okay, so now I need to dig my way over there. So, I am currently at 152. I need to get to 162, which is in that direction. And I need to get to 210, and I'm at 
to 210 is over here. Okay. Torches. And they were at 71, and I was inside the hole, so I don't think I should dig anything up by going three high. I'm just going to go too high, though, for, for now. Okay. Okay. Well, then, I will go this way with my actual farm, then. Probably need to go up a little bit over in this way, too. What is this? I have so many random things all built together, it's starting to become a mess. If you know what I mean. Okay, so now I just need to put in some of this here, and then this will probably need to go down one level. I guess I can put in a light right there. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right there. It's going to need to go down. Okay. So now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it needs to go up right to there. It is very weird trying to engineer this backwards. <laughs> oh. Silly creepers. Getting in my way. Okay. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm gonna dig, keep on digging this out, and when I am done with this, I will let y'all know, okay? What is this? Weird, it's awesome. Alrighty, so. Right now, this is as far as I've gotten. Um, I know it's not very far. Um, but this is as many pistons as I can make right now. I need to go do some collecting of stuff again. I am starting to get really tired of collecting things. Oh. You're not going to be able to get used to that space. Um, but I'm really getting tired of collecting, you know, pistons and or, or stuff for pistons. It's starting to bug me a lot. Now, I'm planning on just doing this as simple as possible, so I'm not really going to do very much decoration in this area. So, I've wired it up so that when I trigger the switch that will turn all of this stuff on, it will also trigger this, and I've also set up a secondary switch so that I can turn it on without messing with this stuff so that uh, I can test it and stuff. So, I'm going to go do a whole bunch of collecting, and I will be right back. I found you. Give me slime. Slime. Dang it, I only got 12. Yeah, so I spent some time digging around just to give them time to spawn and stuff. And this is what I ended up getting. I'm getting 4 diamonds, 1 emerald, 28 redstone, 15 iron, and all of that cobble. And I put the rest of my stuff in here. So you are not sticky, and you need to be. 
Well, I can't find them, so I know that a slime spawned around here at one point in time. So, um, I looked up how to make a slime farm, and um, I should have known this. You just make a gigantic area. That's all you need to do. Um, and the guy who did the little gave the little information said to make it one chunk by three chunks, which is not that difficult to do in this place down here since I already have most of this dug out. So, I'm just going to go ahead and dig it out. And uh, hopefully this means I'll be having more slimes spawn down here. And you know what just happened? Again, my wife is coming home, so I'm going to stop recording right about now. Alright, welcome back guys. It is time for some more Minecraft, and today we are building a slime farm. Now... What that means is, I'm just digging, digging out a gigantic hole in the ground where slimes can spawn. That's all I'm doing. Um, yep. And my instructions are to dig out everything from level 6 to level 16. And I'm right now at level 14. So. If I go up, you know, to right there, that's level 16. So. And eventually I'm going to need to cover up all of that. But, you know, I'll go get a bucket of water for that eventually. Eventually. And, uh, yeah. But, um, it's going to take me a long, long time. So I'm going to go get some TNT. And I'll be right back. Wrong button. So right now I've only got five of these, but that's okay, right? Should be fun anyway. Boom. So that's what I'm gonna do, just to kind of get these things all blown up and stuff you know you know the drill when you're digging a giant hole well it's not really all that giant but I need a bucket I forgot a bucket okay anyway I'll be right back with you guys when it's done Okay, guys, so it's been a few days since last we talked, and, um, this thing is now finished. There is one level here. There is one level here. We And so far I haven't really used it a whole ton. Um, I got enough stickies, I got enough, uh, what are those things called, slime balls, just from building it, that, um, I didn't really need to use it too much, but I have put in kind of a little waiting room style thing, um, yeah, so you go from here, 25 blocks, right, and that's over in this direction right here. Past this line, you just wait. Mm -hmm. Just wait. So I'm going to make this into a nice little room for myself here. And give myself a little, just a little uh, place where I can know that I'm not going to get attacked by creatures, basically. So that I can sit here AFK and, and not, not have to worry about anything, basically. But, yeah. So that's that. And right now, it you know, it, it'll, it'll work, probably. I haven't tested it yet. So this is going to be a test run. So, um, in a little bit, I will be right back with you. Okay, so after about... I don't know, 10 minutes or so, we got just this little guy. He's the only guy who spawned. But, that is, you know, that's okay. It's 
better than nothing. But I don't hear anybody above me either. Hmm. It might be because I'm off to one side. Maybe. I could see that happening. Ooh, but there's somebody up here. Over this way, maybe? Aha, right here. Don't fall in the fire. So, even though it wasn't in my my farm, it still spawned a slime that I could kill. That's pretty nice. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so this thing is working semi-well. Semi like it should. What, but that means that I can at least get some slimes for my new projects. And this is like just leftover material from getting this thing. Or, or and building it and everything like that. It's just, it's been ridiculous. Um, I want the gun. Excuse me, that was, that was gross. <sighs> I hope I want all of that stuff to come with me. Mm -hmm. Although, I do need this. Hmm. I guess I don't really need the string. And that system, I'm, I'm starting to get tired of it. <laughs> I need to just figure out something that actually works. Because this this thing, the the train, it'll come up here and it won't really work. It, it's kind of it's starting to bug me. The, the cargo train thing that I built forever ago. Ah. Stink it, stink it, stink it, stink it. Okay, so now I've got a whole bunch of buckets now. Slime is now a precious commodity that I'm probably going to stick in here. Yep. As well as I want a full stack of this stuff. In there. I've got a whole crap ton of obsidian. And I guess I can take... All this with me. And I left it on space, that's good. And then what what are you? You're a spruce wood. I need spruce wood up in this joint. So bad. Um do I have anything else I want to take with me to that other place? That other place. So yeah, um do I have any I don't think I have any kind of gunpowder, so gunpowder can go in there. Um I guess I should leave that here for building purposes, right? Okay. Cool. Um, um. Hmm. Well, let's. Oh, yeah. Before I was so rudely interrupted by the slimes, I was building the reed farm thing. So, I'll show you what I've done since then. Um, the reeds are now gone from here because I wanted an automated pumpkin farm. Yay! So now I can get jack lanterns a little bit easier. Um, and as you can tell, some of the, re the reeds are being pumped up here when they get. Uh, what is the word? When they're done. And. So this is what the reed farm looks like. Got a little ledge I can run through. We'll be all sneaky ninja-like, right? No, but so just simply one water thingy goes down. Collects all of these things when they're pushed off. It widens into two right around here somewhere, just because. Probably right up there. Just plunk into two, then keeps on going around, and then it's... it's Shrinks? Is that the word? Yeah, shrinks back down into one over there. Takes all of it up over into this thing over here. And this thing is now activated by this line. And it goes click, 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 click. 
and it sends all of the stuff up through the dropper system up into that one chest. Yay! Right, right. So, I think those were all of the things that I it was. I started a couple days ago doing like a lot of maybe two big projects, like an Endermender and the Reed Farm and the Slime Farm. And the Slime Farm took me forever and a day. Um, and I took most of the, the cobblestone over to my new base because I have that silo and I can store it all. And let's get back there, shall we? Because I want to drop off as much of this stone as I can. Oh yeah, I don't want you there. Do do And I don't know if you guys have seen... No, you guys have probably seen that. The little hole, the, the little door I used to get out of there. I used to just be cutting down stuff, the fence and all the time, and it wasn't worth it, but... Come off. Gosh. Where is the thing? Way over there? What is... What the? I'm so lost now. Did I pick up seeds or something? Probably. Okay, whatever. I got my... I got my lead, that's all I wanted. <laughs> mm. And as you can probably tell I've started doing some more some more work on this guy. Um because I I just decided I wanted to keep on working on him. And then um put a item frame there for that guy. So, let's go take a look, shall we? Yay! Oh, that was cool. Um, over in that direction. I really love these ender pearls. They're awesome. Although they do do damage. I don't like that. They shouldn't do damage. Dump all the cobble. I don't really want that seed. So just dump the seed right there. But so you can see one, two, three, four, five double chests, four that are completely full. Um. So yeah. Um. But that is what I've been working on as of late. Um. I haven't really done much else yet. Not yet, anyway. But that's because I was I I wanted to get the Endermender the Endermender the Ender Ender um you know up and running like full tilt. So I don't know. Oh, I'll put the pumpkin in there for right now because I don't need it. Um, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but the train just tooted. That's kind of cool. I didn't know we had a train in my town. Shows what you get for recording at four six forty in the morning. Um, yeah, so this is the end of today's episode. It's actually been kind of more like a recap episode. Um, I recorded most of these things last week, and I've just been, you know, working on finishing the projects ever since. I did finish the Endermender a little bit, up to four, three or four levels of of you know spawning levels. Um, I was gonna put that in here, but then it made the episode like 30 minutes long or 40 minutes long or something like that. So, I took it out again. But, hope you guys enjoyed, hope uh, you guys are doing good, and I will uh, see you guys later. Don't break too much, and this is Glorfi, signing out. Have a good one.